Hi guys, so today is April 10th. I don't know if you can see that. No, okay. It's almost lunchtime, it's almost one o'clock. I'm about to make a quick um, jerk chicken. I'm definitely cheating with this pre-made <laughs> jerk chicken seasoning. Um, but I have some leftover chicken. So what I've been doing is buying a whole chicken and chopping it up for different re recipes. So here I have some leftover um, chicken breast. I believe it's about one and a half breast of chicken and so I'm gonna season it up and let it marinate for like 30 minutes and then I'll saute it I'm gonna have some vegetables here um, my typical onion peppers and garlic and then I made some rice to eat it with so I'm just gonna go ahead and season this up I have some curry powder onion powder garlic powder so this has been my go-to, ah, can you guys see? This is my mushroom seasoning that I get from Trader Joe's. I've been using this in replace of Maggi, you guys, like um, Nor Cubes or chicken seasoning. I've been using this in replace of that. It doesn't have MSG and all that other processed seasoning. Can y'all see this? It's super blurry, hold on. Anyways, but it's super tasty. And yeah, I use it in place of chicken seasoning then I got some jerk seasoning as I mentioned before some soy sauce some ginger paste salt I'll use some pepper and that's it so I'm gonna put about let's see <laughs> I know I don't measure but that much curry powder <laughs> I really love onion and garlic powder it does something to the chicken or to any um, protein so I'm gonna add the mushroom powder just a little sprinkle Can you see? okay so the seasoning does have salt in it so I'm not gonna add too much salt just about I'm trying to use my left hand <laughs> there we go that much salt a little tiny bit more. Okay. Some black pepper. It's not that much chicken, so I don't want to add too much stuff. A little bit of soy sauce. I have my ginger paste. That's almost done. I'm gonna add my ginger paste, what's left of it. Uh, if you have fresh ginger, it'd be so much <laughs> If you have fresh ginger, it'd be so much better, but this will do. Oh, before I add the jerk seasoning, I need to add some lemon. I bought this thing. I've never actually used this to this quarantine. I always get fresh lemon, but I thought this would last longer. One second, let me open it. Okay, I'm gonna add some lemon juice. It's hard to squeeze this out. Okay. I did forget cayenne pepper, so let's go at that. I like my chicken spicy. But this seasoning, if you do use this um, drug seasoning, it is super spicy already. So you can omit the cayenne, but I am with my spices. I'm gonna add, oh, that's a little too much. Not that much cayenne. Pepper, okay. And now I'm gonna add some of the jerk seasoning. I think about one tablespoon should be enough. Some jerk seasoning. I'll do two spoons of this. There we go. I'm gonna mix it up. Don't wanna get my hands nasty. Okay, I'm gonna let this marinate. The chicken is pretty cold. It was just in the freezer and I took it out to defrost a little bit. 
So I'm gonna leave this out for about 20 minutes or so. The longer the better, but trust me, this is super flavorful. Even if you don't marinate it overnight, it'll still taste super good if you fry it up. I normally bake my jerk chicken or I grill it outside, but I don't have a grill right now. And this is just um, chicken breast. But if, if it were bone in, I would definitely bake it. So I'm just gonna saute this up in a few minutes. All right, see you soon. Guys, so I forgot something super important for this jerk chicken. Okay, this is my sugar in a cashew box. It's called recycling, let me all repurposing rather. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, just like, let me get a spoon. One second. So this will help it caramelize in the pan. Uh, this is cane sugar. Just a little bit of sugar. This will go a long way. All right, that's all. Just wanted to show y'all that I added some sugar. <laughs> all right guys, I'm about to start cooking the chicken. Um, one ingredient that I did forget to tell y'all about was thyme. So I'll add it directly to the pan when I start cooking it. But so right now I'm preheating my pan. I'm gonna add some avocado oil to the pan. Not that much. I also have a tomato here that I might add um, depending on if it produces enough sauce for me. Cause I like a lot of sauce to go, on, to go with the rice. Okay, so now that my pan is pretty warm, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. Let me test this. Yeah. Pretty hot. I'm gonna add some of the thyme that I forgot to add when marinating it. You always want to rub it within in your hands to get the oils going so it's more fragrant when you're cooking. Let this cook for about two minutes. Toss it again. Maybe let it cook for another one minute or so. Then I'll add my veggies. But I'm gonna because I want this to be a sauce and not too much, not so much crispy. I'm gonna add the lid so it really steams and cook through. All right, we'll be back. All right, come closer. No, pretty good. Now I'm gonna let it cook a little bit. Okay, so I removed the lid, and now I'm letting it cook to get a little brown on either side. I raised the heat a little bit to a number eight. It was like at a six. Okay, once I flip this over the second time, then I'll add the vegetables. Um, I most likely will add the tomato to give it more of a soft consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up right now. Okay, so now that it's got in some color on one side like this, can you see that? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and add my veggies. I'm gonna add it all at once. So I got my tomatoes, peppers, onion, and garlic. I'm gonna add it all at the same time. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna add about um, a half a cup of hot water to this. Again, to aid in creating a sauce. So let me get the hot water. Okay, so I got my half a cup of hot water here and add that to it. I'm going to scrape the bottom. I don't have a metal spoon. This is a soft, um, what is this called, spatula. <laughs> I'm going to grate the bottom to get all that flavor that's down there. If you have a habanero pepper, you can slice it down the middle and just set it in here without really chopping it up, just to give a bit more flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna let this simmer on medium low for about, let's say five to 10 minutes or until the tomatoes basically melt. And this will be ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna check it real quick. I'm gonna taste it for salt to see if it has any more salt. Then I'm going to add some parsley. Um, if you have a sensitivity to heat, don't do this. <laughs> but that's really good. It doesn't need any more salt for me. And then some parsley. If you have fresh parsley, so much better. Some fresh scallions if we get in here. Anything. Okay. We'll give this a toss. And that's pretty much it. This is just a quick and easy like jerk chicken saute to eat over rice. <laughs> but typically I would make jerk chicken with chicken that has the bone in. I'd marinate it overnight. I can either grill it or bake it, but it's a quick little recipe. We have some leftover chicken hanging around. So yeah, that's all. The chicken is still soft, not dry yet. So that's it. And chop the heat and take some plate. Okay, so I'm gonna plate up the chicken. Got some rice here. And there you have it. Some sauteed jerk chicken over rice. Yummy.